Colin here to show you how to correct something called sway back posture. Sway back posture is what we would call a postural deviation, which means that ideally when you're standing upright, what we want to do is we want to align your bones in such a way and align your spine in such a way that it's holding up the weight of your body as well as it can so that your musculature can relax. When we have a, a postural problem or a deviation, what that means is that the musculature is doing way too much work and it's causing problems in the joints and compression in the discs and things like that. So we want to correct it. So I'm going to show you this from the side because this is the easiest position to see what a sway back posture looks like. Okay, standing in this position, the first thing that you'll see working from the ground up with a sway back posture is you'll see that the person has locked their legs straight and is pushing their knees back, uh, sometimes hyperextending their knees. From there, you'll see that they're tucking their pelvis underneath like this and they tend to push their hips a little bit forward. It's almost like they're creating a little seat to sit on here. And then the next part, because my hips are forward, in order to counteract the feeling of being off balance, falling backwards, I round my shoulders forward and my head comes forward like this. So if you look at the alignment of where my ear is, my shoulder is, and my hip is, those are all supposed to be in alignment in order for me to have my bones holding up the weight of my body. So a person in this posture is going to be feeling a lot of stress through the back of the neck, headaches, pain between the shoulder blades, shortening of the upper chest, pulling through the low back and compression through the low back, shortening of the hip flexors and knee problems. So we want to correct this. So the quick four step correction for this is working from the ground up again. If I'm in this posture, the first thing I want to do is I want to create a bend in my knees. This lowers my center of gravity, makes it easier to balance and move my move my pelvis and change. So the second thing I want to do is take my hips that are forward and shift them so that they're correctly and directly underneath my rib cage. And I might create a little bit of a forward tilt here in my pelvis, not a huge one, just a slight one. So they get a little more curve in my back like I'm supposed to have. Now the next step is to take my rib cage, think of it like a canister and I'm going to lift it up toward the ceiling. So I'm creating a stretch between my rib cage and my top of my hips here. And the next thing we're gonna do is now bring the chin back. And when you push back with your fingers, you should feel a good stretch through the back of your neck. Now in this posture with the rib cage lifted like this, I'm able to breathe better. So I'm not compressing my diaphragm. I am decompressing my low back and I'm activating my core. So all of these things are very important for having a good healthy posture. Now, in order to make this change, it's not something that happens overnight necessarily. In fact, for somebody that's in that sway back posture, it's gonna feel very strange to stand correctly at first. And it's gonna be some work in order to feel like you can stand there and just relax in that kind of good posture. So what I would suggest is you put your body, the back of your body against a wall, including your heels, and you go from your sway back posture to a correct posture and you make that shift and feel how the contact points against the wall change. Once you're in that position, what I want you to do is hang out there for three to five minutes, take some deep breaths. And with each breath out, what I want you to feel is, I want you to feel your rib cage rising as if there's a string attached to the top of your head, pulling your head up toward the ceiling. This will further decompress your low back and if you imagine that you're almost hanging from that string attached to the top of your head, then you should be able to start to let all your musculature relax and let your bones and your skeletal system support the weight of your body. So once you've done that for a couple of weeks, three to five minutes a day, doing that against the wall in the correct posture, the next thing is to bring that same awareness of posture into your day-to-day -day life. So if you're standing and you're talking to somebody or doing some sort of work, and you feel that you're starting to have pain through your neck, you're starting to get those headaches, you're getting pain between the shoulder blades, low back pain, trouble taking deep breaths, knee pain, anything like that, check in and see where your posture is. That should be your cue. Immediately check your posture, put the bend in your knees, pull the hips back, lift the rib cage, bring the chin back. And that's what you need to do in order to correct this.